Hey there, Fletch from All Things Overlanding here. Today, I'm going to be talking about my New Air electric heater. I just picked this thing up to keep my garage heated when I'm working on cars or doing that sort of thing. And again, I've got a lot of cleaning up to do out here in the garage this weekend. So I'm going to be uh, using this heater to keep it warm. I'm going to walk you kind of through the features of it. I'm going to show you the heater. I'm going to show you why I switched to an electric from a propane too. So if you were thinking about possibly using a propane versus an electric heater, there may be some info in this video for you on that as well. But mainly I'm going to walk you through the features of this heater and kind of tell you what I think about it so far. I've been using it for a few months now and I really like it. So let's get into the New Air electric garage heater. All right, guys. So as I mentioned in the intro today, I'm talking about this New Air uh, 120 volt electric portable heater. This thing is really awesome. I like that it's built really heavy duty. And I'm gonna walk you through these features and sort of tell you exactly why I picked up this specific model. There will be a link in the description down below to this heater. So if you're looking for something like this, there's also a discount code down there um, where you can save a few bucks. So definitely check that out if you end up purchasing this heater. Um, previously, as I kind of mentioned, I used this uh, gas, you know, propane powered contractor uh, heater. And it's fine, but I live in Indiana, so it gets pretty cold here. And I definitely had some times where it would actually sort of freeze up. So the propane would kind of uh, slow down, it would stop coming out, and I would start to lose heat. Plus you have to buy propane, which is not exactly cheap nowadays. So, you know, that versus just plugging it into the wall, it's a little bit more hassle, it's a lot more work. You've gotta have propane, you've gotta use the propane, and you gotta worry about it if it's too cold, kind of the condensation building up on it, and then it kind of losing effectiveness. Whereas with like an electric heater like this, this one will heat a 160 square foot area, and uh, it does it really well for such a small package. So I've been using this in the garage, like I said, for a few months now. I've had it on for maybe about five minutes and it's markedly warmer in here than it was when I came out. It's actually snowing outside right now, so it's pretty cold out. Uh, so that tells you a little bit about the temps that I'm in right now. It's about 30 degrees, but this thing is heating up my whole entire garage. So um, let's kind of walk through the features of this heater. Again, it works off of just normal 120 volt. They do have some 240 volts that you can, you know, have wired into your garage, that sort of thing. I had considered that and I may still look at one of those eventually just to have like permanent heat in the garage. But what I like about this is again, I work on cars and, and do stuff pretty frequently in my garage around like doing oil changes or doing maintenance stuff to my vehicles. And in the winter, which is about six to seven months probably here in Indiana, fall slash winter, uh, it's cold, right? So I wanted to have a way where I could sort of move the heat where I'm gonna be if I'm under the car from, you know, working on changing a tire or doing something like that on the side of the car, then I can move this thing where I need it and uh, sort of use it to keep me warm wherever I'm at. So again, this thing is built super heavy duty. You know, most of it's plastic. This is plastic down here, but then the, the base is actually metal. So I do like that, that they used metal for that. Um, it's got this big sort of beefy handle on the top of it here. So it makes, you know, picking it up and moving it where you want super easy. Of course, this thing tilts so you can kind of adjust it to aim it where you want it to go, which is really nice. Um, then on the top here, super simple controls, which I've always been impressed with new air stuff because it's just so easy to use, right? But so you basically got like a fan setting where it's not really using the heat, it's just kind of blowing the fan. Then you've got like a half setting and then you've got a full power setting. And then you've got temperature controls. So you've got minimum up to maximum. Again, it's snowing, it's 30 degrees here. So I've got it turned all the way up and I've got it on full heat. You can kind of hear too, it's really quiet. So I'm just gonna be quiet here for a second and I'll let you kind of hear how loud it is when I put this right in front of it. I mean, it does not make much noise. Whereas, you know, with that, that propane powered one, it's a like a roaring noise. So it's quite loud. Um, but this thing is, you know, I could listen to music and things like that. And I don't have to kind of compete with the noise of the propane heater with the electric, it's much quieter. So again, super heavy construction, really simple to operate. It's got a, a power a light on top of it. So you know if it's plugged in or not, if you have power. It's like if you turned it on and it didn't work and this light's not on, then you know it doesn't have power. Um, so other than that though, it's pretty straightforward and it's a nice little heater. So I didn't want to make this a super long video. I just kind of wanted to touch on this specific heater. And also, like I mentioned, I will put a link in the description down below just so that you can get to this heater. If you're looking for something like this, this is what you want. Just click through that link, use the coupon code to save a few bucks and pick one up. So that was the New Air electric garage heater. Uh, again, this thing is really nice. It's just a simple little sort of budget friendly heater. If you're looking for something to kind of heat up your garage that's portable that you can move around, this is a great option. So again, link in the description down below with a coupon code to save you some money um, if you want to pick one up. Again, thanks for watching. That was the video. That was kind of the, the features in my review of this little new air heater. If you have any questions, post up in the comments. If you're not already, make sure to click that subscribe button, click the bell to be notified when new videos drop. I do a ton of stuff around like camping, overlanding, outdoors. 
Um, so if you're into any of that stuff, vehicle modifications, you know, gear reviews, that kind of thing, I'd love to have you as a subscriber. Just click that button. Um, also in the description below will be links to all my social channels. So wherever you want to hang out, if you want to hang out in other places, I'd love to have you there as well. Um, but thanks again for watching, and uh, we will see you guys next time.